the bullets of bullets has started. Everyone is spraying and praying, camping, going fucking in, going commando now. It's like everyone going in. You're gonna fucking fuck up some bitches. Call of Duty, Battlefield style, fucking Medal of Honor, any fucking style. Titanfall. We even got some Titanfall elements in this episode this week. So definitely the start of this episode. It was more talking about Kirito. It was just so weird. It's like he was walking in the bar trying to talk to Shinon, and everyone's going, "Oh, Kirito Chan and stuff like that." And he was saying like, "Oh, thanks to me for the tournament and shit." I was like, "Kirito, are you really accepting this trap shit?" If that was me, it's like, yo, I'm a fucking dude, get off me. Like that, I'd be like, no, get off me, I'm a bloke. But no, because I was accepting it, and it's like, eh. Personally, I didn't really love that part of the episode. It was like, why is Kirito accepting it? But there was a little bit of a deep part in this episode when Kirito was actually telling Shinon about SEO, saying, you know, he's actually killed someone before, and, you know... This is like, we tr seriously tried to kill each other, and Shinon kind of got the hint saying, oh, was you from that game? You know, talking about original Ironcrad and stuff like that, like, and it was kind of interesting to see, like, how Kirito was expecting that to Shinon already, like, we're already eight episodes in, and I thought there'd be a lot deeper right about near the end that Kirito would share this kind of information, but now he seems to trust Zero Shinon a lot, but when that tournament starts and say, like, this is going to be a huge 30-player battle royale, I'm like, yo, this is going to be actually pretty sick. You see, Shinon recognized, like, Shinon had one of the best shots. Got a fucking grenade, shot with a sniper out with a fucking 50 cow, shot the grenade, and the dude blew the fuck up. We had this one guy called, like, I think we called, like, Pale Rider, that he was doing, like, some Titanfall stuff. He was, like, dodging and weaving and all that. He's pretty much, like, giving up all his gear just to, like, mainly, like, agility and stuff like that. And he got shot clean in the fuck. He shot that one dude that Shinon actually knew when she was doing, being a mercenary, clean in the fucking head. I was like, yo, he came out with a fucking shotgun like that. Like, no pump action. It seemed like it was a semi-auto or something like that. Or, and he just came out with a gun and just popped and square in the head. And then even as well, like, they have other elements as well, like, in the game, which I like. So, since it's such a big area, which everyone's, like, a thousand meters behind them, they have, like, a UAV system, sort of like, you know, in a certain game like this, Call of Duty, but it works every 15 minutes instead of getting like every three kills that it shows every player. So it pretty much incorporates people to stop camping and stuff like. So it really ruins Shinon's game style slightly. But then it also gives the information that she's able to change up her like formation. Also change like, you know her position throughout the games. Very interesting that they are definitely trying to go for you know the mainstream like Call of Duty players sort of characters like that. And just pretty much trying to incorporate it into the episode. Not to mention it was so weird when Kirito like came up to on um, top of like Shinon and it looked like he was generally raping her for a second and it was saying like, How the hell did you manage to avoid the you know the UAV? It's like, oh I just took all my clothes off in the water since it didn't work like that. And I was like, Kirito, what the fuck are you doing? You're just going ass naked in the water just to avoid UAV, which is like already he somehow exploded a trait, which God knows how he was able to do that. Uh, like maybe they like, all their clothes had chips or something in them when they were first started of the tournament, so who knows, but when that pale rider guy gets shot in the chest by like a stun and that guy pulls out the bullet, it's like, yo, it's death gun. Breathing down, he's like, yo, shoot him, shoot him now, shoot him. Like that, like, Kirito's going absolutely crazy and she and I was like, not even understanding what is even going on at this point. Like, what is happening to, like, Kirito? Why is he freaking out? So, definitely a lot of build up for this episode. Um, I found a little bit more deepness, like, it was deepening in the relationship between. Kirito and Shinon, which I did like about that, and we saw, you know, a little bit of Shinon um, fighting and all that, and, you know, the tournament pretty much started, we don't know how many people have already, like, got dead already, but we had quite a handful of people die already, but, overall, this was an alright episode and all that, animation just looking beautiful, as always, may I remind you, just, oh. Yo, A1, doing a fantastic job with Sword Art, but I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 this week, it was a very good episode, but then as well, I had a lot of pacing issues as well, definitely, like, felt very slow-paced at the start, and then... Just pretty much went all crazy at the end, but that's all for me. I want to thank you so much for watching. Always remember, I'll see you guys next time. Remember, Australia Panda.